Hey guys, it's Tia, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I do tags and titles for Redbubble to get sales like this. Now, if you want to see how I built up nine Redbubble shops that make me passive income every day and how much I earned in my first year, as well as uh, more topics such as how I find keywords and niches that sell with proof, then you can check out my Redbubble playlist in the description. I've also just made a video about a new research tool, which is really exciting and you should definitely check it out. I think this video is going to be pretty long, so I won't do a Q&A on this one like I normally do, but I will try and fit it into my next Redbubble video, okay? Um, so do keep leaving questions in the comments. Now let's get started with tags and titles. So why is it important to optimize for SEO? Well, it's how you get found on Redbubble and also through Google. So you wanna be using keywords that people are searching for uh, to get as many eyes on your products as possible because if people don't see your design, then they can't buy your design. So firstly, what is more important? Is it titles, tags, or descriptions? Do all of them even matter? Well, there has been some debate over this, so I did a really quick experiment to find out. And what I did was I uploaded this design. So I put a random string of letters and numbers in the title um, and not the tags or the description. So it's just in the title, right? This random uh, string of letters and numbers. And then I copied the design, except I put this uh, string in the tags only. And then I copied the design again and put it in the description only, okay? So hopefully you can see what I was trying to do here. Um, so for each of these three designs, everything is the same except for where this unique tag is. And that tells us which of these fields uh, is more important. So uh, I uploaded these and then I waited 15 minutes for Redbubble to index them. And I searched for this string uh, in the Redbubble search engine. Now the results were pretty much as expected. So firstly, uh, only these two designs even showed up when I searched this. So that pretty much confirms the description doesn't matter at all when it comes to SEO. The one with this thing in the title showed up as the first result. So there were only two results when I searched it. Um, and this was the first, this was the second. It also ranked higher for the other keywords. Um, so for example, when I searched dog mom rough, um, this one ranked higher than this one. So there we go, the title is the most important and then the tags and the description pretty much doesn't matter. Obviously I deleted these designs afterwards. Now I'm gonna show you how I do my tags and titles uh, with this example. So I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but that's what worked for me and it makes the most sense to me based on doing my research. So reading both around it from Redbubble, uh, watching videos on YouTube and also testing just like I did uh, just now, except you know, having made thousands of uploads and sales on Redbubble. So just bear in mind that I'm telling you what I think is the best way, but it's not an exact science. So feel free to experiment and find your own way of uh, tagging and SEO. So first we have our main keyword that we're trying to rank for, which is in a certain niche. It should be uh, sort of low competition, high demand, ideally trending and of course not trademarked. So this is the keyword which is uh, which you've done research on and is most likely to get you the sales and uh, traffic. And the other keywords are really just for additional traffic. I think getting this keyword and your niche right is the most important factor for sales in my opinion, because you can have the best SEO techniques and graphic design skills, um, but if you pick a niche which isn't great, then you won't make sales. If you wanna know how I find those main keywords, make sure to watch my niche research video. I show you exactly how to find them. And in this case, I'm using a dog mom rough. Definitely isn't the best keyword, it's too much competition. The dog's niche is really saturated, um, but it doesn't really matter, it's just an example. So let's talk about tags. Uh, what I do is I search for the main keyword on Redbubble and then I sort by best selling and basically just see which tags the best sellers are using. So. I copy those tags such that each of my tags is unique. So here we can see examples of what I would consider good and bad tagging examples, as well as a checklist of what I think optimal tagging um, should include. So I always start with the main keyword first in the tags. It doesn't really matter what order your tags are in, um, but just start with the main keyword. And you know, some people say if you've got the keyword in your title, you don't need it again in the tags, but I do it anyway because it helps boost the rank um, of your design if you have the keyword you're trying to rank for in both your title and tags. And I have tested this a couple of times when uploading, um, just like I did at the beginning of the video, and I think it's true. It's up to you if you wanna believe me, but regardless, if you put 
a certain keyword in the title or tags, it will show up either way. So then I continue building up my list of keywords, um, adding them from the best selling designs on Redbubble and trying to use the long tail keywords more. So I always write down the keywords in a different document, such as a Word document, so I can save them if I want to upload a variation um, or I want to upload the same design onto a different platform, I can access those keywords really easily, just copy and paste. Now, what I mean by long tail keywords is, say if you put, um, you know, best dog lover in the tags in that exact order, um, those three words, and then your design would rank higher than if you put best comma dog comma lover, but your design will still show up if someone searches the word best, for example, or just the word dog, but it would just be very far down in the ranks because it's not an exact match. Okay, so it's all about relevancy. That's how Redbubble ranks your products. So clearly you wanna be thinking about what combinations of tags people will be using. Now to add to that, if you've already used, say like best dog lover as one of your tags, then you don't need to put dog lover again as another tag because that phrase that you put originally already contains dog lover. But you can put, you know, best dog mum, best dog lover um, as two separate tags, even though they contain two words in common because that is uh, an entirely new long tail keyword. So these were just some examples off the top of my head. You also don't need to put product names in your tags because for whatever tags you put, Redbubble generates tags for products automatically, okay? So when you're looking through the best-selling designs, sooner or later you will definitely come across people that are tag spamming, and that is what tag spamming looks like. So putting a lot of tags again and again, sometimes with a number, and also using completely irrelevant tags that have nothing to do with the design, this is against the Redbubble rules and you shouldn't be doing it because there is a high chance you will get suspended. But unfortunately, it does boost designs slightly in the search ranks, so you want to avoid niches with too many tag spammers. Um, I talk about this in my niche research video as well. Now, a tool that I've mentioned before for tags is the Merch Titans Redbubble Tag Generator, which is a free tool that basically scrapes off all the best selling tags uh, from the best sellers on Redbubble for that keyword but now there's just too many tag spammers, so that's why I prefer to do it manually. Anyway, it's the same principle, just choose the tags from the best-selling products and don't put in any uh, repeats and just use unique tags. Obviously, not all your tags have to be long tail. You can put like one word tags if that word is um, what is trending, but you know, the order of tags doesn't matter too much as well. As I said, it's not an exact science as long as you follow some basic rules. You can do this until you get 10 or so tags, and then for the rest of them, you can just fill in words which you think people might search on Google. For example, um, just use your common sense, really. So if your design is scary, you might put the word Halloween. For family-related designs, you could put Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, gift for parents, just stuff you think people might search that is relevant to your design. Uh, we're just trying to get as much traffic as possible here. And the point of doing this is that once your design sells for the low competition main keyword, it also gets indexed on a broader keyword. So say like Halloween, and then it will move up in search rank for those keywords as well. So people searching for Halloween now have a higher chance of seeing your design, even though that's not the main keyword that you design it for. So once you have around 15 to 20 tags, you can stop. You can add up to 50 tags, but I wouldn't advise putting too many because it actually does decrease your search rank. Um, I think 20 is plenty of tags. Now, once you've done the tags for one niche, when you upload another design in the same niche or variation of that design, just copy the new work so you don't need to type all those tags again. Honestly, like don't overthink the tags too much as long as you follow some basic rules because the title is much more heavily weighted when it comes to SEO, um, which we're going to talk about now. And also a reminder to check that all your tags are trademark free. So you can do that by typing them into trademarkia.com if you're not sure. So for the title, this is the most important part of the uh, metadata and it's the most heavily weighted part of the SEO. So search engines are going to use your title as the most important factor to take into account when people search for certain keywords for relevancy matching. So the order does matter in the title. Um, you always want your low competition, high demand uh, or trending keywords first so that you can rank higher for those keywords in relevance. This is pretty much standard practice for SEO on most websites, even on YouTube um, or when I'm writing blog posts, you'll see that I put the main keywords first in the title. Okay, so you can just choose three or four long tail keywords that you found from your tag research before, which you think will be the most search words. And then you can just write them one after another, like I did here. Um, and you can check for low competition and high demand on those keywords if you want. But to be honest, 
for the rest of them, I wouldn't really bother. The main keyword is really the focus here, um, and that should go first. Also, if you can't decide between two keywords which one should be your main keyword, then this is also a good chance to just put them both in the title, either order is fine. Um, you can use bars, commas, or nothing at all to separate them. It might look a bit messy, um, but that's fine, and this is the title, really. Again, like the tags, you don't need to put, for example, dog mom sticker or dog mom shirt. Redbubble puts in those product names for you automatically at the end of your title, depending on uh, what product is showing at the time. Also, if you're the type of person to uh, name your artwork something abstract, or if you have a brand name, either don't put that in the title or just put it at the very end. The title is for SEO purposes only, so if it's a word that nobody's gonna search, then it's just not necessary to even put it there, in my opinion. Now, like I mentioned, for tags, once you've written the title, you can just copy existing work and then the title will get copied over for designs which are in the same niche or variations. Uh, remember to remove the copy of because that's what happens when you make a copy um, and maybe change up the words in the title but you can keep it relatively similar. Now description doesn't matter that much for SEO purposes as I said and most people won't read it anyway but one thing that is important is that it will show up in Google search results or also if someone shares it on social media so it's a chance to uh, sort of encourage the customer to buy and if you can be asked and you understand copywriting then you can write something fancy and convincing um, and then you can copy and paste it for each design. This is just something that's pretty similar to what I usually write in the description. So it just lets the customer know there's more than one product and also a call to action at the end. Also, you can use this to advertise your own website, which is what I've been using. Um, like if you enjoyed this design, go to www.something something to see more designs like this and it just helps drive some traffic to your own website. Okay, so that's it for this video. Remember you can edit your tags and titles, so feel free to change things up over time. This is just how I do it, as I said, so not saying it's the only way or the single correct way. If you have any suggestions, then feel free to comment as well. There's no Q&A this time, but I will be answering some questions next time, so feel free to comment down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe, tap the notifications bell to get alerts when I post new videos, and socials linked down below. I will see you in the next video.